Welcome back, everybody, to some more Katawa Shoujo. I press start again. Um, yeah, uh, still no cam, sorry, which is correct. This one. Um, welcome back. We, um, we're here. I'm here trying to get as much content out as I can, so no mic. I didn't want to set all that up. That takes time. Um, yeah, we're nearing the end of Shizune's route. We're on Act 4 now, I believe. I think this is the beginning of Act 4. So, um, yeah. Let's hope everything goes well. Things are getting a little rocky, it seems like. Only a day later, the weekend has already arrived. I drop a heavy stack of books on the librarian's desk, not meaning to slam them, but they weigh so much that it happens anyway. Bleh. Yuko bolts out of her chair with enough force to dislodge her glasses. She barely holds on to them. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm here to return all those books I was supposed to. That's great, but I wish you had brought them back sooner. If it wouldn't be a problem if the library had more copies of everything, but it doesn't. And they act like that's my fault. They? Other students, they could be, um, pretty pushy. Sorry, it's just kind of slipped my mind. It's been a rough couple of days. Oh, uh, I suppose you don't want to talk about it. He always talks about his problems with Yuko at the end of the day, which is kind of funny. Yuko meekly turns to the task of lodging, logging all the books I brought back to be returned, treating them with extreme care and precision. She's like a bomb disposal technician rather than a librarian. Over the past couple of days, I've been thinking about something Misha said. Of course, I thought about everything she said, but one thing in particular keeps coming back. She talked about how she didn't want to miss people or think about being apart from them anymore. When I recall those words, they stopped me cold, like a sharp slap across the cheek. In just a few months, we'll be graduating. Misha and Shizune were nearly inseparable, but after graduation, they might never see each other again. I wonder if that thought is what started all of this. If Misha were to try to talk to Shizune about it, Shizune likely wouldn't think about it at all. It would sadden her, and for that reason, she would try to toss it away. For someone like Shizune, who was quick to suppress her worries, it would be easy. Misha turned out to be more sensitive than she seemed. It would have crushed her, even more so because Shizune's reaction could come off as pretty cold. I don't know if that's how Shizune handled it, but it seems likely, and I can understand why she would act that way. I can also understand why Misha would be troubled by the thought of drifting away from someone who is such an important part of her. I would never thought about graduation until that moment. Then I began to think about things like, has it really only been less than a year? I started thinking of everyone I've met, not only Shizune and Misha, but everyone else. They were fond thoughts. Then I thought of losing them. Suddenly, I could understand Misha's anxieties. It could have been nice to talk to someone about it. Actually, I kind of want to. With whom? I can sense an obvious tinge of apprehension in her voice. With you. Oh, uh, really? Are you sure? <laughs> Why me? Because you're an adult. That's it? <laughs> That's... She's barely an adult, is how. Wincing, she fidgets a little in her seat, trying to get comfortable in a pretty uncomfortable-looking way. I guess this means she's okay with it. Is it hard, being an adult? Yes. <laughs> oh. I don't think I'm that old, though. It's surprising that students now, I, like Shizune and you, wear stuff like perfumes or cologne. I never did. I still don't use them. Um, by the way, you're not wearing your grape cologne today. Yeah, it wasn't working out for me. Oh, that's good. I thought the same thing. Sorry. <laughs> Yuko looks genuinely sorry, and I feel a pang of guilt. I smile, despite myself. A tiny lie like that can come back to bite me in the butt. Poor Misha, trying to conceal how she felt in order to put on a happy face for Shizune for so long must have been crushing. Someone I know brought up that we're going to be graduating, and I realized that I've never thought about it before. I feel stupid that I could go so long and never think about these things. I've met a lot of great people, and I've never thought about what it's going to be like to graduate and maybe never see them again. There's still ways you can keep in touch? Yeah, I guess. I feel childish. I know everyone is going through the same thing, probably, and I bet you hear this sort of problem a lot. No, I been, haven't been working here that long. I worried about the same thing when I graduated from high school. Uh, I didn't go to school here, though. I also miss my friends. I wish I'd kept in touch with them better. I should have tried harder. Yuko isn't helping me feel better. <laughs> she clams up quickly when she sees it on my face. I don't want to look back and have those same regrets. 
I wonder if Shizune even thinks about this kind of stuff because she goes on sometimes about how she doesn't want to live with any regrets. Well, that sounds impossible to me. I nod, only halfway wanting to agree. Even so, I think it's kind of admirable too. Kind of brave, don't you think so? Brave is a new way to put it. Yuko shakes her head insistently. It's true though, it's kind of intimidating. Jeez, you shouldn't be intimidated by high schoolers. I'll try. She turns away to start folding a sticky note over and over. Pretty idle behavior for a university student. But more importantly, I wonder if I had said the wrong thing to her. Being around Chizune for so long, I can't stop reading as much as I can into every moment of silence. If Yuko were the type of person who didn't get intimidated by high schoolers, it probably wouldn't be so easy to talk to her. It's all too easy to want to shed some negativity, negative quality of yours when I think of everyone I know. It's those qualities I like the best. Um... I don't think I really regret it. I thought, as long as I could remember the good times, that was good enough. I don't know. Sorry. I notice a couple of students starting to trickle into the library, and I decide my time is up. No. That was helpful. I feel like two of my friends are fighting because one of them is taking the fact that we might not see each other again after we graduate really hard, and the other is probably stoic about it, which only makes it worse. I don't get how I'm supposed to handle this kind of situation. It doesn't seem like the kind of problem where well, I'll have to end up taking a side, but it could turn out that way, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. You should tell them they shouldn't fight. I know, fighting is bad. It's not Shizune and Misha, by the way. Okay, I wasn't really thinking that, though. How embarrassing. <laughs> even though I knew it would be, I still feel my cheeks redden, and even so, I still said something so transparent and blatantly alive, but it could be that sometimes that is the right way. Do you have any books about people who have to make hard decisions? We have a lot of self-help books, <laughs> I guess. It's funny that I could find that surprising, because I wouldn't have only a few months ago. I meant about, not four. There aren't many, right? Uh, yeah, not many, I mean. Though I feel a bit apprehensive about it, I want to talk to Shizune. I don't understand why I feel so nervous about it, and that disgusts me a little. It also motivates me to look for her right then and there, although I don't have a very hard look what i don't have to look very hard she's in the student council room as always worryingly misha isn't with her when shizune notices me looks up from her paperwork and the first thing i ask where she is i don't know there's so much uncertainty in that answer <laughs> i can't just let it go like that she's missing a lot from school are you the attendance police that's really strange coming from the student council president shizune hides a laugh behind a cupped hand and i start to think that i might be worrying for nothing but then her laughter slowly fades away to a more serious and pensive expression. You're right. Yesterday, I catch the hint of knowing smile on her face when she sees my poorly hidden panic at the word. Despite her best efforts, she can't help but being satisfied and eliciting surprise from someone everyone else to the very end. Even then, oh my god, my chair just squeaked so bad. Even then, <laughs> I can see that she has bigger concerns from how quickly her smile vanishes. Before either of you noticed me, I saw what you were saying. I'm not stupid. If I hadn't, I could still see through Misha while we were walking back. Even if she hadn't told me everything later, she didn't make a big deal out of it, but anyway, you look at it. It's my fault, isn't it? What did she tell you? Shizune winces at the question, though it's clear she's been expecting it. She follows it up with a very grand gesture. A lot. Like that I can be selfish and confusing. I try too hard to bring people around me and push them away. I didn't know what I should do. I thought she was right to mention all those things, so I agreed with her. But that only made things worse. I don't understand. Adjusting her glasses, she looks pretty tired. I hope it isn't because she's been busy avoiding Misha, but I can't help considering the possibility seeing where this is conversation is going. It's true. Even the student council being this small and us always being swamped with work is my fault. I might even end up driving a lot of people off and away from the student council acting like that. Shizune wags a finger mischievously, acknowledging that might is an understatement. However, from how warily she does it, it's obvious the humor is only to put me at ease, therefore not genuine. Like Lily, for instance. She was the first person to join when I started trying to recruit people again after everyone else left, but they couldn't stand me, I guess. We managed to put together the last festival and even ran a booth together at the last minute. But I didn't like her because I thought she was selfish always holding us up in order to tend one friend of hers or another, and leaving Misha and me to sort out things involving the whole school by ourselves. 
If there were any problem she was going through, she would leave us high and dry, and she panicked over it. And while she panicked over it, it wouldn't come back until it was solved. She would focus on it 100%, be too preoccupied to focus on any student council work. That was the worst to me, that she could be so nice and still take so many people for granted. Why even join the student council then? It seems so short-sighted and selfish, don't you think? But it's actually me who's that way. Like Misha said, always trying to pull people close to me and then shutting them out. That is how I've treated her, which makes me a bad friend. And it feels like I did the same thing to you then, so I guess I'm a bad girlfriend too. Even if Misha says that you might as well replace her. I'm angry that I screwed things up enough for it to get out of this out of hand. All I wanted was to... She pauses to look for the right words, tenting her fingers in concentration. Make people happy, I think. Even though that seems like a simple way to put it. As she rests her head against her hand, Shizune's bangs fall delicately across her eyes, hidden behind those polished glasses reflecting just the tiniest bit of light. It may be wrong to think so, but right now, she seems especially beautiful, like a more complete person. It feels like this might be my first chance to respond to her, outpouring of emotions. Replacing Misha as Shizune's interpreter? Misha must be joking. It took all my energy to keep up with her just now, her signing f filled with gestures that I've never seen before. Likely, their habits picked up from Misha and developed from years of them being together. I can never replace someone so close to her. I like you because I like you, not because I got tricked into it by you. Despite how hard she tried, anyway, I continue to stare back into her eyes as sharp as ever. The first time I saw them, that it seemed a bit intimidating to me, like the eyes of a predator. That hasn't changed, which I find reassuring. I still want to make everyone happy. Oop. Starting with Misha? Shizune looks a bit more annoyed that I would imply that she would start with anyone else, and smiles confidently, as though a friend's sadness and is a physical opponent she can just strangle into submission. Of course. Obviously. Naturally. Taking off her glasses. Oh my gosh! He's here without her glasses! She leans back into her chair and lets out a sigh. It's the first time I've seen her without them on. I don't think I get a good look before she slips them back on. But I'm too tired to start today. First thing tomorrow. Do you want to help? Yeah. And I have other student council stuff that you can help me with while you're at it. Although it turns out that there isn't much other work at all. Cute. 